the absolutely worst vlogger on the entire planet. This is what we're working on. You're not dumb, honey. You're just a little challenged. <laughs> we are leaving tomorrow. Today is our last day in Arizona. <laughs> guys I've been so bad about vlogging this week it's just been a crazy week um we're just getting started with our moving plans and that means a lot of sitting down and talking and not a lot of things that we're doing yet but today we did do something we went to Deseret Industries which is a thrift store and um we decided to go early in the morning on our way to dropping off Vincent at work and lo and behold we have found a couple furniture pieces that we really needed and we're so excited about um I didn't vlog while we were in there because we didn't really expect to find anything but here we are so I wanted to show them to you before I tuck them away in the garage because they're awesome. So we got this shelving unit. It's pretty tall, it was 20 bucks. And it's like really solid construction. It's beautiful, it has no marks or blemishes at all. I love it. Um, and this will go in our living room somewhere. Uh, it'll kind of be like our bookshelf. We don't, we don't plan on having a big, any kind of big shelving in our living room. So this will be awesome, just a nice corner unit for that purpose. Um, I'm really excited about that. So there's that shelf. There's a better view of it. Um, it's pretty awesome. We like it. Here's, by the way, here's some really funky, awesome chairs that we've got from um, the thrift store also. They have stuff on them. These are our new dishes, so they're still in the box. But these are really cool. We love these. Um, and they are from the thrift store. They've just got this really cool kind of retro looking fabric on them. And we also have this ottoman that's hiding back here. Um, I'm gonna recover this with like some really fun fluffy stuff. It'll probably be in our bedroom. And then we've got um, we've got this really cool little thing from um, Costco. It's an ottoman that opens and is a trunk. So we love that too. I haven't decided if this will be in our bedroom at the end of our bed or in the living room. We'll have to see. But that's nicely all packed up in this box too. We bought this TV recently. It was not expensive and it's not super high quality, but it'll do the job for us for a while. And then we found this desk today also at DI. I already put all my stuff on it. Here's like a big throw blanket and um, a fluffy rug that will go somewhere. But this desk is awesome. Um, it kind of matches the one that's already in the house. I just need to clean it up. It's like a little on the dusty side, but it's nice because it all got like multiple shelves to come out. It's just like an old computer desk, but I think it's cool. It's got character and I love the color. Guys, I'm the absolutely worst vlogger on the entire planet. Um, yesterday, Vincent ended up finishing work early, so I said, hey, let's go stop at the thrift store on the way home. As usual, I wasn't expecting to find anything, and again, we found exactly what we needed, um, which is a super cool, big five-drawer dresser for our clothes. I've been looking for that. It was like all wood, super high quality. I'll have to show you when we get home. It's in the garage. Um, so we got that really randomly. It was 50 bucks, and we went to Home Depot and grabbed some stain to work on it, and we're gonna work on that project this weekend, which I will for sure film, I won't forget. But I can't believe I forgot again to take you to the thrift store with us. Um, it's not my fault that every time we go, we find something good. I didn't know that was gonna happen. Anyway, so um, that was really good luck. And this weekend we have so many fun projects. I'm excited to do them and to also film them and remember them forever because part of the reason that I love vlogging is because obviously I like making the videos and sharing them but I also just like saving them for me to remember it's like a visual journal you know um and it's a lot more fun to edit a video than it is to write in a journal for sure so anyway um I'm really sorry I forgot to take you to the thrift store with us but I promise that I will show you all of our fun projects this weekend um I already have some nightstands that are like a grayish um, stained oak and with pine legs so they're all kind of like light grayish muted kind of and um, the desk that we bought a couple weeks ago in the last vlog and um, the dresser that we just bought are also are both just like a warm natural like normal stained oak and I don't really love that color I think it's too dark it's the color of our it's the color 
of what I think the flooring will be in our house. Um, so I don't really want all of our furniture to also be that color. It's just too much. I'd rather like get some nice rugs to separate the two and have furniture kind of more stuff that I'd want to keep for later and not just furniture that I'm going to want to get rid of as soon as possible. So I'd rather like stain it something that I really like and then just deal with the floor for now. Um, anyway, I don't know if that even makes sense. I'm going to like watch this back later and be totally confused about myself. Um, but anyway, yeah, so that's kind of the update and I can't believe I forgot to show you, but don't worry. We have so much fun stuff coming up this weekend and it's just going to get another busy week. It's so close to us moving now that like every day there's things to do. Um, share that with you because we were so excited. Hey guys, it's Saturday. We've had a crazy week, so we haven't been really good vloggers, huh? Whoa. <laughs> this is what we're working on. Hey, you did get it off. That was easy. Yep, it's just you have little prongs that we're going to have to take care of. Okay, cool. So we are working on refinishing our furniture right now, which is a fun, exciting project. Um, I might just set up the camera and do like a time lapse showing you what we're doing. Pepper hasn't decided how she feels about it. It's kind of noisy out here. So I'm gonna be sanding this piece first. Vincent's working on taking all the handles and hardware off of it, and then he'll be sanding that one too. And um, yeah, so that's what we're gonna be doing all afternoon. We're gonna see if we can get it done. Hopefully we can do one coat of uh, stain today. I'm not sure, we'll see what happens. Okay, here we go. So, I have a problem in life, and that problem is that I don't think. So I do something mindlessly, like for example, hey, it's important that I get my wallet with me, and then I can step out of the office, oh, I forgot my glasses, my glasses were on top of my wallet, just put them away. So I'm just dumb, that's the problem. <laughs> you're not dumb, honey, you're just a little challenged. <laughs> <laughs> that's, a, that's a nice way to put it. <laughs> anyway, but today, I woke up, took Vincent to work. I worked on the output of the day the video that I still have to finish, which so is probably gonna get up a day late. I just know it. Yeah. And do you wanna grab the keys out of my bag? Yes. You can drive. I'll drive. And then um, I came, or I had to go take out money from the bank because we are still taking out cash every paycheck because we're really bad savers. Oh, let me get in the car for really fast. And then my, so I just, Finally got to work at like 1.30 and then my stepdad, it's 3.30 now. My stepdad said, hey, you guys wanna go to Sweet Tomatoes for dinner tonight? Sweet Tomatoes is, um, ugh, my hair, it's like windy today. Sweet Tomatoes is a like buffet, but it has like a really big salad bar, which is why my family likes it because everyone around here is kind of a health nut. So we don't have to go that way. Oh, that's true. Um, yeah, going the long way. Um, so we're all kind of health us around here, so we like sweet tomatoes because it's healthier than most cafes. So anyway, I think we're going to do that tonight. So we decided to leave work early and we're going to go work on finishing painting our furniture. You saw the um, like speed through from Saturday. Um, we need to put another coat of white on the bottom of the desk and um, finish like putting like the coating on that and then the desk will be totally done and then we just need to finish the dresser so we'll see how much we can get done in like the next two hours oh, okay it is so cold outside today but let me show you what we're working on there's our dresser Vincent's doing a little sanding of that and then I am trying to get this desk finished it's like got a gray um, stain on it and then I'm just painting the whole inside white. So it blends in with the wall a little bit more. I think it'll look really good. Cora. Yeah. <laughs> 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 
That's wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, happy Taste Tuesday. I put my hair in braids so it can dry all kinky. Um but it looks ridiculous right now. I had <laughs> I had this hat on all morning while I was taking Vince to the office, but I got tired of it because I want my hair to actually dry, and if my hat's on, it won't dry. There's Pepper. She can't decide. Oh, she decided. I thought for sure that she was going to try to leave. She was going to go back to her spot and lay down again. There you go. Good girl. So... We leave Arizona in five days. Well, six days. Um, so today's Tuesday. We get our truck on Saturday. And we will be leaving early, early Sunday morning. Um, and we'll be driving for five days. Our stops are going to be Amarillo, Texas. Little Rock, Arkansas, Knoxville, Tennessee, and Harrisburg, Pennsylvania. And then the last day, I'll just be three more hours to our new home in New York City. Um, we have a lot to do this week. We've been really busy. Um, yesterday, we spent I spent all morning running errands. There's just like little things to buy. Um, so we've been doing that. The room is... A huge giant mess everywhere is messy so that's what I'm gonna try to tackle today is getting organized um, here at home because I can't live like this and also we have to put all this stuff packed away like really soon and um, yeah so anyway that's some of the things we got going on Vincent needs to get his Arizona driver's license because it's a lot easier to take the driving test here than it is in New York City. So we wanted to make sure he got his Arizona license here first. And then we could just transfer it in New York instead of him having to take the test in New York. Um, he is legally allowed to drive with his French license for the first year he's here. But we just... Look how stupid that looks. We just want to get that done. So that's what we're doing this week. Um, I also need to go buy some more stuff. I need to get some like bins that roll under the bed for um we'll store our shoes in them to move but we can just keep using them when we get there we'll probably put like winter clothes or them and some or in them or something since summer's coming and we won't need all of our coats um I need to get like some nightstand lamps so we have light in our bedroom um we need to get like a whole bunch of like little tools and things to go we have a toolbox but we don't have very much in it and we're going to need, like, wall hanging stuff and, you know, Gorilla Glue and screwdrivers and all the little normal little things that you need in your life when you have a home. <laughs> um, I just need to go and, like, stock up a little bit on those things so we don't have to go and buy too much stuff right when we get there. We also need to get painting supplies because right when we get there, the first thing that we're going to do is repaint the living room and the bedroom. They are like kind of like a cream yellow color right now. And I just really want white everywhere. The kitchen and the hallway and the bathroom are already white because they were recently um, redone, but the older rooms are, haven't been. So that's the first thing that we're going to do when we get to that new apartment is repaint. So I wanted to get painting supplies here at Walmart where it's cheap. And then we wouldn't have to go and do anything except just like get right to painting when we get there um, before we unpack anything. So anyway, I have to go grab that stuff. We need to get some more boxes. Yeah, that's a lot. Um, just normal moving stuff, really. Um, we also got my car sold. But the great part about that is that we're going to be able to still use it until the end of the week because we're selling it to a family member. So... Um, the loan is paid off, which is nice, just to not have to worry about that cost anymore. And um, we will be getting paid at the end of the week, basically, when they come take the car. So that works out pretty good. Um, we're, like, don't have as much money saved as we would like to have, so we're, like, a little bit stressed about, like, money tightness. But we did definitely have, like, a couple thousand dollars buffer money 
um, that we don't have any specific things that we need to buy with. It's just like, I wish we had more buffer. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's fine. We luckily already have jobs, so it's not like, you know, money's that stressful because right when we get there, we'll just keep on working. Um, but yeah, I'm so excited. Actually, okay, right now I also want to show you the furniture that we redid because I didn't show it to you all like finalized yet. Okay, so here's the before of our desk. And here's the after. We took out this shelf right here and painted everything white and I didn't do a really great job, but it's passable. And then we also refinished the whole thing with like a gray um, stain and put some more finish on it. And now it is good to go. I think it'll look really nice. We have another desk that the previous owners of our apartment are leaving and it's just like this without any of the stuff on the inside because this is like more of an old computer desk. So I just wanted to paint everything on the inside white so that it kind of blended into the wall and the outline looks more like the other desk so they'll kind of match a little bit better. I think it looks pretty good. I'm happy with that. I think we'll probably end up using it for a long time. Okay, and here is the before of our dresser. And here is the after. It is a nice big five drawer dresser. Um, we refinished it with the same gray finish as the desk and added these handles um it's in really good condition so i think it'll last us a long time there's this drawer down here is um technically broken uh, <laughs> the track that um it's supposed to be on was wood and it was all splintered so that's the only damage that it really has sustained um pretty good for thrift store to, uh pretty good for a thrift store dresser. We're really happy with it um, just because it'll fit a ton of clothes and that's what we need. We still have this bookshelf. Uh, it's a corner shelf. It's got our dishes on it that I still need to pack up, um, but I'm not quite sure what I want to do with it yet. I have a feeling I'll end up painting it white um, just because it's so big and tall. I don't want it to make our living room feel smaller, so I'm kind of waiting until it's in the space and then if I feel like painting it white, we will just use the same paint that I'm going to use for the rooms and just do the whole thing because it is really big and tall. It'll be great for storage, but I just don't like the color right now and I'm not sure what I want to do yet. So there you go. <laughs> Hello guys. Okay. We're pretty much done. Look at all this awesome progress we made. These are all of our boxes. I labeled everything with what room it goes in and exactly what's in it. So it's easy to find later. We've got like, here's the floor down here. Oh yeah, just like this whole patch right here, plus our rugs and our furniture. We have the makings of a nice house here in the garage. I'm really excited to unpack everything in New York. We can make it there. Hey guys! Ah! We're in the car wash. We are leaving tomorrow. Today is our last day in Arizona. We have been packing, packing, packing all week. We have so many boxes and things. We just picked up our truck and uh, Penske really came through for us. I'm probably gonna do like a whole article about it and it's not sponsored at all. I just like Penske was awesome. Um, I highly recommend them. They gave us a super amazing deal plus um, like they gave us insurance half off and they gave us a truck with only 30,000 miles on it. So that was like perfect. This is so loud. I shouldn't be talking right now. Let's do it after. But anyway, I sold my car and um, but it was just to a family member, so we're gonna give it to him tonight. So we're just gonna get it washed and cleaned up right now for him. I'm kind of sad. I'm trying not to think about it, but this was my first car, and it was an orange Jeep, which couldn't have been more me and more my dream car. I don't know how I'm ever gonna top it, and I'm really gonna miss this car, but we're saying goodbye today. In favor of a big 12-foot moving truck. <laughs> I'm so excited. It's a lot of work to do, but it's really exciting too. All right, we've been packing all day. Well, of course, I forgot to record any of it because we just got really busy. I'll show you the inside of the truck later. These are my brothers. We're um, going to see a movie. It's like four o'clock. We just needed a break. So we're going to see Elite Battle Angel. It's a little sibling date before we leave. And yeah, we just got candy from Walmart. We're sneaking them in, don't tell anybody. Excited, Danny? Sure. Yeah. 
Fisher. <laughs> He's not really excited. You're gonna like this movie though. I am excited. Okay. I'm just trying to find out what direction north and south is so I can find out if that dog is pooping on that northern and southern axis. That way is north and that way is south. Because he kind of looks like a bear, so he's supposed to do it. <laughs>